Following on for the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to um, we got to we got to this stage here, and then we needed to understand um, what what it really meant here. So uh, so we would put something simple in into there. Put a number three. Put a number three in there. It then gave us this, and then uh, and then for a general case of k, it then gave us this whole thing here. So this thing here, so this thing here, you can imagine it as being uh, k. Km plus one, Km plus two, and so on, all the way to uh, to to this bit here. So so this whole thing here will then become this whole thing here. So uh, so now you can see that this will cancel out with this, leaving you with uh, with what's left from here to here. So so visualize this bit here as being this whole thing here. And then, uh, and then this thing here will cancel out with this. So, uh, so you're left with with this. So you're left with this from. So, so this is your first one, second, third, and so on, all the way to uh, to uh, k n plus k. So that would then take you from here to uh, to here. So now, now we're here. Um, so now, now that we're here. Um, so, so n is heading towards infinity. So when, when you look at this, um, if, if you multiply, you see, if you multiply this out, all that you're interested in here, because n is getting bigger and bigger, n is heading towards infinity, all that you're interested in is this, times this, times this, times this. Because if you were to multiply everything out, you would get something similar to this. Let, let me just make this up to the power of 9. Um, you, you, you would get something like this, hang on, x to the power of Five, uh, let, let's say uh, seven x to the power three plus blah blah blah. The the point is that as n heads towards infinity, you don't really care about these terms. You only care about the highest one. So when you're here, when you're here, all that you really care about is the highest one because n is heading towards infinity. So so just concentrate on on, on these on, on on these terms here. So when you multiply everything out, it will be k to the power of k. And then n times by itself um, k times because because if you look at it, this is your one time one two three four five six seven and so on up to k times. So if you if you get this times this times this times this, it would be k to the power of k because look k times k times k times k and so on. It would be k to the power of k. And then when you get n times n times n times n times n times n k times, it's going to be n to the power of k. So uh, uh, and then and then uh, and then looking at this here, if you were to multiply this out k times, so n plus one, uh, n plus one times n plus one times n plus one. Dot 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 k times. All that you care about is k times k times k. It will be uh, n to the power of k. So as as n has to, so you trying to you trying to find the limit of this whole thing here. It's the same as you trying to find the limit of this whole thing here. Because this thing here, as n heads towards infinity, you can think of it as being n to the power of k. And then as n heads towards infinity, you can think of this whole thing here as being um, because you only care about the highest uh, the the highest power. So you can think of that, you can think of this whole thing here as being this. So now uh, this is exactly the same as this. So uh, so all that you're left with is this. So so we got to this stage here. So hang on. So uh, so to perform the ratio test, we always we always need to compute this value here. Well, this value here turns out to be this. Now for convergence, we require this to be less than one. If if this thing here is greater than one, it's going to diverge. If it equals one, it's inconclusive. So for convergence. We uh, we need this to be uh, to be less than one. So uh, so just just concentrate on making this to be less than one. When would this be less than one? Well, it would be less than one when you make this to be less than less than uh, k to the power of k. Anything anything less than than k to the power of k, then this whole thing here will be less than one. So your radius of convergence. Remember, we we're only interested in the radius of convergence in this case. It happens to be k to the power of k, okay?